Дуру, дуру, салам. Как вы поживаете? Мне очень хорошо. Ну, хорошо. So, Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor, two. Initially, here's my thoughts. My thoughts are the most money you can make in the next five or six years would be Habib Nurmagomed versus Conor McGregor. Okay. Well, how do you make that happen? Well, Connor's got to get to the um, lightweight champ. How does he do that? Well, he knocks out Dustin Poirier, and then he faces Oliveira or Gagey, whoever wins. Um, or if they find, if it's if it turns not Oliveira Gagey, if that turns into four fights, Gagey versus somebody else versus Oliveira versus somebody else, and then the winner kind of playoff brackets into funnels up into that top contender fight then whoever that is fights conor mcgregor also conor mcgregor's name is hot so you might want to put him versus poirier and then mcgregor versus Oliveira, or or mcgregor versus gagey and then funnel it up that way Either way, if I'm the UFC, I really, 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 really like using Conor McGregor right now um, to pimp the sport. He's going to make a lot of money. And Conor McGregor at lightweight right now is, is the best because there's a vacated title and it's Khabib Nurmagomedov, like going for 30-0 and uh, to get his title back so or to regain the undisputed title that is an amazing storyline and that's gonna sell a lot a lot of salamati um, uh, it's just gonna sell a lot of anything t-shirts hats pay-per-views I might buy one. I mean, just the thought of McGregor, Numagomedov 2, it's amazing. So, who else is more intriguing or more interesting than um, McGregor, Numagomedov? Nobody. So, McGregor's going to have every advantage possible in a Poirier fight. Poirier Nurmagomedov 2. Doesn't sound very attractive. I don't care. I'll watch it because Habib is going to fight. I'll watch it for the Habib return. But I would rather see Habib Gagey 2. I'd rather see Habib Oliveira 1. Or, yeah, Habib versus Oliveira. So, if y'all can think of somebody else in the lightweight division right now that uh, would be more attractive than seeing Habib McGregor, you let me know. So since that's the case, and since he probably would have to knock him out, you know, he can't tap like chicken. <laughs> can't tap like chicken. So how would you beat Poirier decisively enough that it would be only one fight between you and then whoever the top contender is? Got to knock him out. How do you knock him out? with the left so you want some tv ad you want it you want it to make it to the second or third round at least so off the top of my head without looking at any tape just the politics behind it just the sheer immutable power of money behind it i would say mcgregor poirier mcgregor knocks him out in the second or third round easy I mean, just just from storyline and selling whatever. Also, Habib versus McGregor 2 could be in a sold-out arena. Anywhere on the planet. By the time that thing comes back, we could be in arenas again. So, there's always Fight Island. But, I mean, do you want to fight McGregor, you know, in a, 
in a Habib hometown, you know, an Islamic country, probably not. You want to fight Habib versus um, Conor McGregor in Vegas. So you want to know the time frame? I would be suspicious of when is Vegas going to open up? When they when they, can they sell out 100,000 seats or whatever it's going to be in whatever multiplex that they arrange or build for such an event? These are my thoughts for McGregor Poirier. Poirier two. Do you see how my analysis of McGregor Poirier is all about getting McGregor to Habib? Because that's what I think. That that's, it feels like it is just a stepping stone. If it wasn't a stepping stone, why not go McGregor Oliveira? I know that the fight was booked beforehand, but McGregor Oliveira seems like a better fight. So, all the politics out of the way, here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take a look at Poirier 1, Poirier McGregor 1, and then I'm also going to have to uh, take a look at whose game has developed. I know McGregor's game has developed a little bit. He's still the best on the planet. I just the, What i got to ask myself is, is, what have I seen? What do I know about Poirier that would suggest that he can step to the challenge? The, who beat McGregor lately, right? It, Habib, right? And we saw what he did to um, a lethal striker like, you know, Cowboy Cerrone. Is Poirier better than Cerrone? Maybe a little, but he fought him heavier. So he knocked out a heavier guy, like, with a shoulder. So I'm just going to say that those are my initial thoughts. So this is my... You know how I do them when I don't know off, off the bat. I give you my initial thoughts and then I go do the research. So these are my initial thoughts for uh, McGregor Poirier. And now I'm going to go do my research. Salam Mati. Khorda. Khorda Hafiz.